Good morning. It is February the 23rd, 2018. We'll start with our disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representations being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we um, have option expiration today, and on the 10-year, it favors a close between 120 and 120.16, and <clears throat> we've got pretty good resistance starting up here at 24. Uh, so I'd like to sell 23s to 27s, 31s to 03s. Might take a 20 to get in. We'll see. Especially if the E-mini takes off and the E-mini is pointed higher. On the uh, downside, we've got yesterday's high is 16 and a half. half. So 13 to 17 will be by one. 5 to 9 will be by two. And mathematically, we're going to start off today looking for a close. Um, 12008 to 12016.0 no news to speak up today Baker Hughes rig count 1293 last for all of North America 975 for the US um, both numbers could be higher but I don't think anybody will pay any attention to them. Hope your evening went well. It was uh, freezing rain and drizzle and everything in between. Um, well, we're damp, but we haven't gotten a lot of rain out of this or a lot of moisture. As the case might be, frozen or the other type. Okay, uh, 28 to the buck, number one. 3 to 7, cell 1. 11 to 15 sell 2. Option expiration 42.16 to 44.16 is where the option volume has been the last two days. So that would make a mathematical close at 43.16. We'll play for that. On the buy side, um, Make 12 to 16 number one. 5 to 9 buy one. Pick up the bottom of value. 29 to 01 pick for buy two. Okay, post auction. Usually yields a trading range. No news today to speak of. Usually yields a trading range. Option expiration almost always yields a trading range. So we have a lot of things that say the market will be a sideways play today. Okay, four Fed governors speak today. No news to speak of overnight. Equities are mixed overnight with Asia up. UK, EU down. No news to speak of out of Europe. Um, our equity markets are pointed higher this morning. Gold was off a couple of bucks overnight, not much to speak of, with no news. Probably not going to get a very big day today. So, you see, we got pretty good resistance up here at 35. So, that is resistance 33, 35, sell 1, 38 to 40, sell 2. This is resistance, that's number 1. And. This area up here would be number two resistance. So that's why we picked our points. Uh, on the buy side, 26, 28. Maybe a 30 to get in. Buy one. Trying to buy on the cheap. Then um, 21, 23, buy two. 
we might be looking at a three or four dollar range in gold today with a lack of news. Looking at the euro, um, got a seller at 50 to 75, and we've got a buyer. Looks at uh, 2275 to 123 even. Trying to trade lower. Uh, no news today. Pretty quiet day, maybe. Buy one, 123. Buy two, 2275. On the uh, sell side, 2350, sell one. 23.75 sell two, and we'll put a question mark at 25. Might take a 25 to get off a short, but uh, we're we're playing where support and resistance are. Crude oil was off a little bit overnight, or it was the last time I looked, a couple hours ago. It looks like it's even. So we've got a seller at 63. Got a P right here, so we'll play for that. So 63, 63 and a quarter, sell one. 63.50, 63 75, sell two. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke out from 2015. The low's 40. So. 25 to 50 by one and 61 75 62 by two pretty tight one what Putin has up his sleeve for this weekend after reading the uh, Red Sparrow trilogy um, I know they're scheming up to no good for the U.S. especially and the rest of the world. Putin's main drive is Russian eminence, number two or three player in the world. People have to pay attention to him. It is a third world country with a first class nuclear weapons delivery system and weapons. So. You have to pay attention to them. That's why everybody wants nukes. Okay, uh, you can see there's a seller starting about 35, and there's probably a buyer 27, 27, 10 down here, pretty quiet. Uh, best buying is 26.75 to 27 right now. Best selling is 27.55. To as high as 75 with sellers starting at 35 so here we set 29 31 sell 1 34 39 sell 2 no news to drive the trading today um, thirteen to fifteen by one and um, 5 to 10 by 2. I, I just don't have a strong feeling. We're just right here. We'll just pick it up. We'll do it on the fly today. Uh, I'm guessing we're probably in a trading range. I'm going to test resistance first. If it holds, the market can come off. If we get through it, we're headed higher. No strong feeling. Not getting much help from the uh, profile overnight either, so... It's going to take a bit to get everything up and published. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.